Hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the grey. Today's video we're talking getting started with the Middle Earth strategy battle game and today we're going to take a look at the army of Thrall. This is the dwarves of Erebor before all the terrible things happened to them. So we have Thrall as the king of the dwarves and so in this video we're going to take a look at the army special rule, see a little bit on how that affects and works with the army before looking at a couple of units we recommend to get started with for the faction. We'll then take a look after this at some other units we can use to expand our collection before finishing off the video with a little sample army of 300 points for you to use hopefully as some inspiration for starting your own army of Thrall army in the Middle Earth strategy battle game. And so, to start off with, the army special rule is called Thrall Ruled with Utter Surety, never doubting his house would endure. Friendly Erebor Dwarf models count as being in range of a banner if Thrall is within 6 inches of them. This is just pretty cool, being able to get some rerolls in there. Um, a solid rule available to the army, you know, getting extra banners means, you know, you can have banners at low points value still and split your army up and have multiple sort of really high value fight areas for your force, which is super nice. And so, to get started with, it's obvious to start with Thrall. He is, you know, the central focal point for our force. He's got fight value 6 with a shoot of 4 plus, strength 4, defense 9, which is insanely good, 3 attacks, 3 runes, courage 6, 3 might, 3 will, and 1 fate point. And he's... So, he also has the Arkenstone, where the bearer of the Arkenstone passes fate rolls on a 3+. plus. In addition, when taking a fate roll, if the roll is a 4 or better, there's no need to expend the fate point at all. It's free. Uh, he also can have his uh, cool little ring as well, the Ring of Durin, where once per game, the bearer of the Ring of Durin can re-roll a single priority roll as well. So, some nice, solid abilities there all round on Thrall. Now, he's going to have his special rule, which will help the army stand the fight that a little bit longer, called Last Stand. The first time a model with a special rule takes a courage test as a result of your force of being broken, they will pass the test automatically. So, you know, something really cool. Now, if we're going to start, I think Warriors of Erebor, for me, are the place to start. They're nice, cheaper troops. You get more models on the table nice and quickly, um, which is really cool. You know, being able to get more dwarves along with him is really nice. Warriors of Erebor, they've got a pretty solid stat line. I mean, they're dwarves, so they're always, you know, going to be decent at the very least. So, Warrior of Erebor has a 5 value of 4 with shoot of 4. They normally have defense 6 or go to 7 when you give them the shields. Five uh, that Strength of 3 there with 1 attack, 1 wound, and a courage of 4 as well. So, not terrible courage. Courage 4 is pretty A-OK. -okay. Now, they can be equipped to have Warhorns and Banners. They've got Spears and Shields as their options. So, not a lot of range coming into the Force, but, you know, a decent cost there. I think they're 8 points per model to standard, which is really nice. And so, looking at where to go next after that, for me... Grim Hammers, your other main troop choice. These are sort of the Dwarven Elite. So they do have a fight value of 4 and strength of 3. Though if you choose to make them the Guardians of the King, which is what you can make them when you've taken Thrall, they will get that strength of 4. Defense 7, standard courage 4 all around. They're going to be carrying those massively wicked Pick Hammers, which are hand and a half weapons, which can use either Bash or Piercing Strike, Special Strikes. Now, if we're looking into some other characters to add to the force, Young Thor and Oakenshield is the start. First of all, you know, 5 value 6 there, which is super good with Might, Will, and Fate all at 3. Courage 6, 3 attacks, and 3 wounds. All super strong. His special rule is to arm, where it's an active ability once per game when moving young Thor and Oak and Shield, the controlling player may declare two arms. At the start of the following fight phase, all friendly Erebor dwarf models within 3 inch increase their strength by 1 for that phase, which is really cool. You've then got young Balin the Dwarf, and his cool ability is the Young Sage. In the priority phase, young Balin can spend a point of will to enable his side to reroll their d6 in the priority roll. So, pretty solid there as well. And then lastly, you have young Dwalin the Dwarf, which uh, has the Weapons Must rule, which is really nice. So, a model with this rule is never considered to be unarmed pretty solid but then Dwarven Fury as well before making a drool roll young Dwalin the Dwarf may choose to reduce his fight value by d3 but if he does so he can reroll all failed wound rolls in the following fight making him a pretty nice solid character so you've got you know the true support in Balan the nice mid place I think in Thorin who's a good fighter and brings some support and then Dwalin who is all about getting in and doing some combat 
And so this is the sample army we've gone for at the start. We're obviously going to start with Thor. The fact our army bonus hinges on having Thor, I think he needs to be included. For me, you know, it probably is the best way. He's really solid defensively. Uh, he can do a lot offensively as well. I think if you're taking him, you're not necessarily in special and smaller games needing to take uh, Balin the Dwarf because you've got that reroll once per game with the Ring of Dune. Um, but We've gone for five Grim Hammers here with the banner and the Warhorn on the Grim Hammers. The reason that is for is the Grim Hammers just so much more survivable there. Not only that, but we're able to put, you know, a couple of Grim Hammers on a different party, use them as pseudo characters, use that banner and Warhorn. As you know, pseudo characters. They're obviously not characters in any way, but we're sort of using them to lead a force of a couple of the other Erebor Dwarfs and then keeping a couple of Grim Hammers and Erebor Dwarfs around Thrall there as two main fighting groups for the fours. If you've been playing with the army of Thrall in Middle-Earth Strategy Battle Game, let us know how you've been going, your favorite units, combos, your favorite troop choices to bring along, uh, your loadouts for your forces. Let us know down in the comments below everything you've got to say about the force. And so that is the end of the video. We hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to come chat more with me and other members of our little community here at Sinful Gaming, we have a Discord server, which is linked down in the video's description. Also down in the video's description are the best ways to help support the channel via Patreon and YouTube members or by grabbing some merch from either Kofi or Teespring. All of these are the best ways to help support the channel and it means the world to us that people do choose to help support us. Now, as a special thank you to everyone who supports the channel via Patreon and YouTube members, we'd like to give you all a shout out. So thank you to our Patreons, Christian Weir, Soren, Kenny Lowell, Alder and Shop First, Andrew Bowen, Nathan Fee, The Rising Ape, Cure Dynamic, Anthony B, JJ Austrian, Average Wargamer, Domir, Mark Harvey, James Cater, Bloobs, Benjamin Swallows, Red Martin, Kevin Bowman, Iron Grinch, and Nuffs. And to our YouTube members, Greenridge Gaming, Ronya, Lock Lorick, The Johnny84, David Ellsworth, Wolfric Nick, Broken Chef, Ariana Edwards, Revenar, Pink Nico Fire, Robin Mankiller, Monty's Tabletop Terrain, John Castle, Davis Weir, James South, Dave Crozier, Dylan Arino, and James Tillman. And lastly, a special thank you to Lady Witchfox Art, who does all the amazing artwork for the channel you can see here. Uh, and indeed, pick up the stickers of the amazing artwork or the amazing artwork on our merch as well if you want to. But thank you once again, everyone, and a special thanks as well to everyone who helps support the channel and to all those who come and help with the channel, be the people that come and do battle reports or indeed those that are managing our Discord server. Thank you all once again, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the great. Ciao for now.